Hello and welcome to the Sibsey West Midlands Region vlog and podcast. My name is Joss Brownlee and I'm on the Sibsey West Midlands Region Committee and it's great to have you with us today for this episode. Thank you for joining us. In the news recently has been... Read Jacob's latest article on accelerating the energy transition through supply chain development. Smith Brothers were excited to th win the Climate Action and ESG Environmental, Social and Governance categories at last month's Construction Excellence East Midlands Awards. Sangraban have broken new ground on the new Worcester administration building. The facility is expected to be open for business in January 2026. Roofing works are nearing completion on Paveways Oxen CE Primary School. Week one of the Your Matter Roadshow saw the bus travel from Wolverhampton to Edinburgh on the first leg of the trip. Fingers crossed for good weather at this week's stops. Interesting reading A Year in the Life on the Job. Lauren at McAleer Rush has spent the past 12 months gaining experience as a placement quantity surveyor, both in office and our sites and their sites in London and Birmingham. If you're interested in having a closer look at Palmer Lake, work is continuing on a large supporting wall, enabling the terracing down to the riverbed to be constructed. If you're looking to build your construction career, Worcestershire County Council's Skills Boot Camps are free for anyone aged 19 and over in Worcestershire. In 16 weeks, you'll gain new skills and guaranteed interview at the end. The Institution of Civil Engineers first president, Thomas Telford, was born on this day in 1757. The IMECE are pleased to announce that the H2ICE and EV batteries events will be co-located in Warwick this November. The go-ahead's been given for the 37-storey motor tower in Birmingham. Labour have commissioned a transport review which urges a study into a new rail link between the Midlands and West Yorkshire. A host of consultants are to be appointed to the next phase of Carpenter's estate regeneration. The Stratford site dates back to the 1960s and is being overhauled under a plan being masterminded by Populo Living. And lastly, Wimvik have given a debut to remote controlled crane cabs. That's it for today's episode. Many thanks for watching and listening and we'll look forward to you joining us for a future episode of the Sibsey West Midlands Region vlog and podcast.